What is up YouTube? Moonlight Moolah Joe here and I just wanted to bring to you a uh, video stating the items uh, some cherry picked items 13 of them that I had sold in the month of July and uh, just wanted to share my experiences uh, positive and negative um, and just to make everyone you know learn from them and make everyone better so here we go I also wanted to mention that, uh, you know, being a part-time reseller, I do have a full-time job. Um, I am moonlighting as a reseller, so uh, hence the name Moonlight Moolah, um, just making some extra cash. And uh, I am one of the few that actually likes, likes his job, and uh, I just enjoy making more money, that's all. So uh, if you uh, want to follow my journey, please uh, hit the subscribe button down below and uh, click little notifications uh, so you'll get uh, notified as soon as I put up uh, new videos and uh, being a part-time reseller uh, I don't have a lot of free time so like as we're sitting in my parking lot at my job uh, on my lunch break uh, this is how I'm going to try to make some more videos um, trying to find any free time to take care of the YouTube um, community so here we go next up we have a uh, pair of docker shorts cargo shorts um, that I had picked up at a Goodwill um, a while back and uh, we got them for $3.49 each back then um, my only reason I picked them up was because they were new with tags um, normally I would not pick up dockers um, it's just not kind of the model I'm going for but being new you know I figured it'd be an easier sell so I put them up there and they were a good size size 42 so bigger sizes tend to, to sell a little better because they're not as uh, easy to find out in the wild um, so uh, we sold them for twenty two dollars total and uh, after all uh, fees and shipping uh, total profit was ten dollars and ninety two cents and it only took nineteen days to sell so as soon as I listed it uh, within nineteen days it was gone so um, you know not a bad pickup I'm um, just kind of a bread and butter item um, that dollar range that I'm I look for um, but uh, yeah so very pleased next up was some um, cups that I had found at uh, Walmart on clearance um, they were uh, the mossy oak brand um, and there was uh, brown camos uh, reflective ye or uh, safety yellow safety orange and safety pink colors um, and I picked up uh, a bunch of them it was <clears throat> is quite a while ago um, it was kind of an experiment I was looking just to see what I could do when I was first starting out so um, I bought three sets of four um, a set of all four uh, orange a set of all four yellow and a set of one of each of the four colors um, that's just happened to be what was left kind of and uh, so I did a little experiment, sold them as a set of four, and uh, originally they cost me 75 cents each, so $3 total, and I've sold all three of them now, and I sold them for $25.90, um, that includes the shipping, all the prices that I sell include shipping, so just so you know. Um, I only made a $5.59 profit in the end, but and it took 455 days to do it, so it took quite a while. But, uh, you know, I, I was in the learning process at the time. Um, would I do it again? You know, maybe. Um, but, you know, uh, it doesn't really fit into my model anymore. I was still looking to find a model that worked for me back then. So, uh, but anyways, there was a profit. It is retail arbitrage. I was in the 20% to 25% range. Um, so, um, you know, um, with retail arbitrage, you know, that's, that's not actually a bad thing. So, please, pleased with the profit anytime. Let's see. Next up, we had some Allen Edmonds, uh, men's dress shoes. And, uh, they were a nice walnut brown. Um, got them for $9.99 at Goodwill. And they sold for $145.98. So after all fees and shipping charges, uh, 
we made a total of $98.28 profit on this order. So really good home run for me. Um, I'm really liking shoes. Um, <clears throat> um, so I've been picking up a lot more shoes lately. Um, uh, I still like to dabble in it a lot of areas electronics games anything I can make money on basically um, you know I, I can sit on things so I, I'm not worried about um, how fast it turns um, as long as it turns of course but uh, um, if you really feel like it's worth it you know I can I can buy it and sit on it and uh, these shoes turned in 69 days so not a bad turnaround for a pair of shoes for high-end ones and uh, yeah, so very, very pleased with that turn. All right, so next up we have uh, a Tiva men's camp shirt uh, with a kayak print on it. Um, they were just rayon shirts, but uh, they were really unique. Had a very cool print on it. I thought that would, uh, you know, be, in, it, it, be I bought it for the uniqueness of it. I actually ended up buying two of them, and uh, both of them have sold now, but... Uh, I got that for $3.49 at Goodwill Retail and uh, sold them for $21.99 grand total. After cost and fees, we profited $11.39 and uh, it sold in 72 days, so I was very pleased. Uh, next one on there is a Sperry Top Sider shoes. Um, they're men's black leather and I uh, got these at the Goodwill for $3.00. And uh, let's see, sold them for a total of 50 bucks. Um, after all fees were said and done, uh, I made a profit of 2606. So really good turn. You know, anytime you can make double your money, um, the profit compared to what you sold it for. Um, and you know, I only spent three dollars to get them, so even better. So very good turn. Like I said, I like shoes. Uh, after that, I had picked up at. Uh, this was a unique one. I still, you know, anytime I go into any kind of retail place, I, I check. I check the clearance areas and I see what I can find. And uh, I happened to go into a Home Depot and found these Orbit wireless uh, automatic rain-free sensors. Um, they were just sitting there at $10.03 each I paid. Um, and I think I picked up three of them, sold all three already, and... Uh, they had more, but the boxes were damaged, so I just didn't want to play with that. So um, I only picked up the three, but I sold it for $32. And uh, my profit after all fees and were said and done was $11.50. So, um, and they sold in 110 days. So not bad. Uh, after that, we sold some Skecher Mary Jane Shape Ups. Um, these ones um, only cost me two bucks at a garage sale, so good turn. Sold them for $45.97. Love garage sales, that's why. Uh, after all profits and, uh, you know, shipping costs and everything, excuse me, after all costs and fees, um, we uh, made a profit of $25.62. And uh, they sold in 124 days. Next up was this pair of jeans, uh, Citizens of Humanity, the Ingrid 002. Um, they cost me a whole two dollars and ninety two cents at a Salvation Army um, Sold them for thirty one ninety nine After fees and shipping I made seventeen dollars and twenty nine cents total and uh, They sold in 95 days. So, you know three month turnaround Next up another pair of shoes uh, Meslon these had a uh, lizard skin um, accent to them and uh, they were just a regular slip-on shoe, but I got them at a garage sale for five bucks, and I sold them for fifty-four ninety-eight. Um, after all fees were said and done, shipping and everything, I made a profit of thirty-three eighty-five, and uh, they sold in a whole seventeen days. So a really fast turn for a, for a pair of dress shoes. So very pleased. Uh, next up was some uh, chaps Ralph Lauren. Um, not necessarily something I'm into anymore. Um, I just don't live in an area that suits are a big deal. I tried to dabble in it before, um, and, you know, and, uh, this was, a it did have a wool and cashmere blend, so that's why I picked it up back then. 
Um, it, finally, it sold. Um, I believe it or not, I picked it up at Salvation Army um, for $0.69. Cents. Um, they just had a day where they were just getting rid of stuff, and that was their day that they were anything was a certain color was $0.69. Cents. So uh, I paid $0.69, cents and that was sold for $35.00. Uh, profited $21.53, but it did sit on the market for 462 days. So that was one of my, closer to one of my first pickups. So took quite a while to get, get rid of that one. But hey, profit's a profit. Next up, we got a Field and Stream Men's Extra Large Duck Hunting Shirt, long sleeve. Um, but it was a silk, so more like a camp shirt. Um, I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. Uh, I remember this garage sale. It was a, uh, I just happened to be looking through. They had a bunch of men's shirts that were all, this, you know, all the same size um, that they wanted to get rid of. And uh, I was pretty much packing in most of them. And the lady just says, you want to take them all for 10 bucks? Okay. <laughs> um, so I was able to get all of them. And uh, you know, I really only had maybe three of the shirts that I couldn't sell. And I've sold most of them and made way over the 10 bucks that I spent on it. Um, so it averaged out to 50 cents a piece. So um, I sold it for $25.99. Profited $17.18 after fees and shipping. And it sat on the market for 127 days. All right. So next up we have another pair of shoes. These were my, uh, my fa one of my favorites so far. Salvatore Veragamos. And they were a uh, men's just loafer, uh, horse bit, Italian ones, brown leather. I got these at a garage sale for three bucks, and I sold them for one hundred and forty dollars and ninety nine cents. After all fees and shipping, I made one hundred and one dollars and one cent, and uh, it only sat on the market for eleven days. So that was one of my favorite turns so far. I think with my eBay, there's a couple on my Mount Rushmore list um, but this was definitely one that will be on there but and then uh, last but not least I have a Carhartt heavy-duty cotton uh, dress shirt or a button-up shirt short sleeve it was uh, great because it was a 2XL T so tall anything double XL or bigger or tall especially um, they're a great find um, because they're just not a lot of availability out in the market for gentlemen that need these or women even that needs bigger sizes um, so definitely be on the lookout for larger size clothes show you guys this because I did spend uh, two bucks at a garage sale for this and I had sold it and as a price that you can see here next to me um, but it was returned a uh, gentleman just said it wasn't the right fit for him and uh, sent it you know I I got free returns I totally accepted his return and when I got back um, this is what I had sitting in my return uh, very nice uh, gesture since I have I pay for the returns as well um, it's just part of doing business uh, I have no problems with uh, buyer pays returns um, for the most part um, for for normal you know normal shipping size stuff anything huge I'm not going to be doing that free shipping back and all that stuff but um yeah so he actually threw a five dollar bill in there and said good luck with your sale so uh that was a really nice gesture and and, uh, and uh, something I'll probably never forget that uh, they did for me and uh, if you follow me on Instagram I made a post about it as well Follow me at moonlight underscore moolah. And uh, yeah, so thought I'd end, uh, end my sales with a return, but hey, it was still a, a nice gesture. So um, there are still nice buyers out there. Don't, you, know, you see all the negative on, on all the social media platforms, but uh, there are still nice buyers out there. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like, subscribe button, and make comments, please. I'd love to hear your your views on uh, any of the videos or if you have any questions on future videos that you'd like to see just let me know and uh, look forward to uh, making some more and uh, get some more videos out for you and enjoy reselling and treasure hunting take care